during meditation, on our spiritual pursuit, that way our mind is not out of tune with God and play with thought. Please stand up and I give you a prayer. From the depths of slumber, when you ascend this spiral pyramid of wakefulness, be sure to whisper, God, Christ, Guru. God is the food, and when you break your fat of nightly separation from Him, take Him and mentally say, God, Christ, Guru. No matter where you go, let this spotlight of your mind ever keep turning on God. And in the battles in of activity, let your silent super cry be God, Christ, Guru. When boisterous storms of trial street, and when one is howl at you, round the noises, by loud chanting, God, Christ, Guru. When your mind needs dreams with threats of memory, then on that magic cross, always embark, God, Christ, Guru. Every night, in time of deepest peace, when your peace dreams and calls, joy, 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 and your joy comes to me evermore. Always inwardly chant, God, Christ, Guru. In waking, eating, working, dreaming, sleeping, serving, meditating, chanting, divinely loving, let your soul constantly hum, unheard by any God, Christ, Guru. Let this occasion be a great occasion for you. So am I happy, though my physical body is not there, my spirit is ever with you, and my voice is with you now, talking to you, from my heart, my soul, my spirit. I have been very, very happy. The Heavenly Father has fulfilled all my wishes for the organization. Personal wishes I had none. I had finished them long ago in many incarnations ago. I only prize above all possessions the bouquet of souls. I do not care who come and go. I am not interested in them. That's why those that, as Jesus said, he that follows me, he follows not me, but he that sent me. He who shall honor the ego shall lose God. He who always remembers and sent the Levadar and true disciples of the order that Behind him is the link of the Gurus, Christ and God, such those like Chantlin and others who will be like him, will feel the connection of the Gurus. Spirituality cannot be bought in a marketplace. When you are little desirous of God, God sends you books and teachers. When you are very desirous, God sends you a Guru. As we think of Gurus, you must regard if you want to get there. That's why Jesus said, how the one, Jesus said, who is my brother and father and sister but who loves God? I recognize no one. I recognize yes in the metaphysical and religious way that all are brothers. But those who love God, I know they are my brothers and sisters. 
I am not interested in those that come here for a little grammar and then go. I am interested in those that will go not halfway, but all the way and get to the door of God's silence. That's why God doesn't talk. And God will not talk. For years and years, even if you are faithful, if you fall, faithfully follow him. You know? But, but only when he is convinced that you do not seek him for glamour and glory, but that you seek him forever, then he will open the door. And that no one can tell when he will open the door. Even Jesus Christ says, what my father knows, I know not. Let's talk to you, must follow the path of the realization, the greatest order of wisdom and realization that was ever sent in the world. It is the highest principle of meditation balanced with activity. God has given you hunger, you cannot be idle. Those who think they come here only to meditate, they are mistaken. Because God would not have given them hunger to watch for. Everywhere things are watching. But they forget God. We work in our ideal environment in our senses, with God's consciousness in our bosom. Only work for God. And work the body until you are a master. And then you will, when you will meditate, you will not lose. You master your body by yoga, practice and fear yoga, then your body will be steady and the fixed temple of God. And remember, even if God doesn't answer, He's always behind your consciousness. And when Saint Thompson is this example, every day think of this example. But dozens and dozens of years, our incarnation, Saint Thompson is taught God. And Saint Thompson was in a tomb. In Egypt. And when he developed very much, he began to see that satellites of Satan began to come there in the form of dogs and geckos and vipers. And told him that there was no God, only evil force ruled the world. But he was so afraid and he was living not on vitamins. But one piece of bread and water, he gave to be whole hundred twenty five years. But he realized God, remember that. He that what determination he had. Incarnation he didn't find him and he's trapped in the tomb for years. He had finished his activity in this previous life. Now he went after God. And one day, when every Apparition and trouble failed to displace from Johnson. Satan himself came and said, Now, I will show you that I am the Lord of the world and I am going to destroy you. And that there is no God in Christ. So he began to crack the tomb. And at that time, so afraid, then after he did not know what to do. He said, no, I will not give up God. Right at that time, Christ appeared. And Satan is nothing but a text of God. And so remember, right at that time, overwhelmed with grief, remembering incarnations of prayer, and those years of separation with God, Anthony cried out, Lord, Lord, why didn't you come? Before I have passed in such great agony, then Christ said, And Sonny, I was just the same with you. Now remember that. Don't demand God to appear before you before you have, because you have meditated ten years. He will never appear. He has disappointed many, many times. You have incarnation spiritually known. But as soon as there is no demand, but unconditional love and pain, I know that I am praying, you know, thou dost know, Lord, that I am praying, thou dost know that I love, and no matter whether you come to me or not, I shall wait for you. 
Remember, a man was trapped here like this. He wanted to drink the whole lake, but he found out that he could not take more than three glasses of water. So how would you even God drink? You wouldn't be able to receive him. You would be electrocuted. Your body mind has to be ready and expand it as the, as the ocean of God. The cup of your consciousness must be like, like Christ. Then God will can be appreciated. Then God automatically will get into it. So those that are impatient, from a few months and go, I am not interested in them. Yeah, that's why the thing. And Master gratified you, the inner circle and the outer circle. Outer circle people come and go and see wherever there is a festivity, see how many people you have, they are gone. We have 1500 during the last festivity. But how many came back again? So the outer circle, the Master should not at all pay attention except those. And as I say, I prefer a soul to a crowd and I love crowds of souls. And you must not look to those that come and go, not be interested in them. Just them from your mind. Only look to souls like that thing. I've been 19 years sitting on the grass, followed everything that I said, and you don't follow an exceptionalism. You can do it. This is what I heard to you. That let your meditation at night, no matter how hard you work, never go to bed without giving God the sweetest attention. You won't die, says Anthony didn't die. Why would you die? Die for God in this place. Have I ever looked all these years since I have come? In 1920 have I thought of the body? No, I have worked for God. Nothing else I have done. I never missed with those that were activating, that were trying to take my time, but those that were the greatest devotees of God. So, you must look to the example of Chaitin Navarat and Rasmus and a few others who have passed, who have belonged to this world and have felt the presence of God. So I say, only those the last shall be the fire concerning Christ, the uh, Christian word that out of one thousand you won't teach me, out of one thousand that teach me, one knows me the last uh, shall be the fire. We are much more, the percentage is far, far ahead, far greater. But the trouble with those mostly is this, that they have too much temptation. And when we have to the temptation, there is no resistance here. The more ladies have our faith, once in a while the fool becomes tempted uh, 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 by others. But the thing is, the greatest thing is to have that religious desire. And we have no master always used to say, the gate is always open whenever you want to go. Go. That is which master I saw. They left him because he didn't flatter them. He didn't shoot their fancy. I was the only one with him. And three little boys didn't amount to anything. Everybody left him. But did I leave him? But see what he did. This to me, he didn't want disciples. The master told him, they don't want anything but God. They don't want to tell you. But look what he did. By converting me, he has converted millions of people in this world. So much you. Those that are true, do not yield to sex temptation, do not yield to wine or desire for money, and develop the love of God so that I see in your eyes you are drunk with God, and not saying, when will I have God? When you say, when will I have God, you are not a devotee. I have him, I have him, he is listening to me. My beloved is always with me, he is moving my hand, he is adjusting the food to me. He is drawing the things around me. Without him, you can't live one second. God is taking you to the beginning, giving life to you to some time. He is in the food that you are going to be. He is in the joy and spaces of all the people that are around you. He is the one, the only one, that through your so-called relatives can you call your own. He is the one that 
master and any master. For it is in heaven, as Jesus Christ himself said, there is, when the disciples, disciples are saying, I am great and I am great and I am great. He said, he is the least, he is the greatest in heaven. And in heaven there is no captain and assistant captain and so forth and soldiers. But in heaven, all those that have been one with the Father, they do not suffer from jealousy because they are one with the Father. Jesus Christ himself said, All those that receive him, to them he gave the power of becoming sons of God. So may you all be you now and forever that as the masters and Jesus are, they have been the examples, the, the great reflections of God, whom you can follow to know that you are also a potential child of God. All ways of the sea belong to the ocean. There is no difference. Only some or some wave has drawn itself into the bosom of the ocean and has expanded into the ocean. And some waves are playing with the storm of delusion and spreading farther and farther away from the ocean bosom of infinity. So we are all children of God. We are all sons of God. But we have to realize. And may that consciousness forever and now on be impinged on you. Do not call yourself sinners anymore. Sin belongs to the past. It is no longer yours. God is yours. And the great masters of Christ are yours. Hold that in your bosom. Crash that in every spot within yourself. And you will find that you dreamt that you are man. And you walk and you found that God was your reflection. That's why I want to remain in this steady speed of God that I can give you something, saturate you, bathe you in the ocean of infinity, and you change forever, 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 in the ocean of life, I do. Heavenly Father, Power did I remark at right, Power did I remark at right, if they should be, I bow to you all again and again, for it is your message to God that has permeated me, and that message I send, and he who shall receive this open heart shall never go empty and rest. His or her heart shall be wonderful cup in which the ocean shall come in and gradually expand the cup into giant cup for the ocean of infinity and the ocean of spiritual power yeah. Remember, egoity is the greatest sin in this world. I know nothing. I used to remember that I was good. So I knew God was good. Still I had that conscience. He took everything away from me. Everything, every financial thing. Also I fought as well in the everything that I had. Five, six times in America. And it is not easy to be here with so many responsibilities and without a penny. And I mean without a penny. In this place, those devotees are stuck by me. We used to plant tomatoes. And as I heard also from the disaster, and Dr. Lewis, everybody sacrificed. But all in India, the, the Guru sits wise and they build a temple over him, bring him food and everything, but never he comes. The Guru has to provide the disciples for it. And how many I was afraid to get married because of the advantages and responsibility of a, of a wife. But I didn't need married, I, as I told you, I came liberated. But that was the first thought I thought of everybody that was going to, ma uh, going to marry. How will they pay their mortgages? And how will they support themselves? But I see how many mortgages have I paid. That there is no end. Every church is without any death. And that way all everywhere. You build a church yourself. 
Will you write, please? 